Hello. It's hey, a, what's going on, It's a guys? little bit earlier than Saturday Lives. Yeah. <laughs> but we wanted to um, congratulate you on being John Haggerty Vlogs YouTuber of the Week. I, I know that we made the announcement on Saturday, Saturday the live uh, YouTube chat. Which is always a lot of fun, and that was your first time joining us. It was. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. I was uh, Brad. 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 He was a cool guy. Yes. Very informative. He Super knows. Fun. He knows his stuff. I subbed him up, and I've been watching some of his videos. Pretty funny. That's awesome. Yes. So, would you like to introduce you and your channel and tell us what you're all about? So, um, I am Phil with BLP3 TV, and my channel is basically kind of a hodgepodge, but primarily. It's acoustic covers, mm -hmm. and uh, I do vlogging and some talk videos on things, and it's it's kind of just really fun. I call it the Philness, and you kind of just get a dose of Phil. And um, I'm not exactly sure what I want to be known for, uh, but I definitely want you to think music and vlogs um, when you think of BLP3 TV. That's kind of why I put the TV in there because I didn't want to be like a one-trick pony. Yeah. I kind of wanted to be. A little mix of things. So I guess it's safe to say you want all your viewers to be fulfilled. Ew. But on <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Mic drop. <laughs> Mic drop. Um, radioactive is coming out on Friday. That's awesome. Oh, I can't wait yeah. to see that because your the one that was on Monday was amazing. Mm -hmm. Your voice you. is awesome. I appreciate that. I can't. I can't. I can't, like I can't his even. Step brothers, you're in. His his voice is <laughs> angelic. <laughs> it's like a mix of Fergie, Fergie and Jesus. Oh, I know it. Uh -huh. Love that movie. Exactly. Love it. That's one of his favorites. Exactly. Oh, it's great. I can't. I can't, even, I mm -hmm. can't even carry a tune in a bucket. Mm -hmm. People ask me to sing solo, solo that no one can hear me. True. Mm -hmm. So, moment of honesty here. So, um, who's honest? I, I've done singing a lot in my past. Um, I do pretty much almost have a degree in voice um, from back in my college days. I didn't complete it all the way, but I have most of it there. Uh, but I've been in bands, and I've, I've done some tours on certain parts of America. Um, but I kind of gave up the rock star life, um, and I slowed down, and it really... Uh, it really kind of ate at me because I'm a musician through and through. I love music and I love people. And I kind of got stuck in Oklahoma because uh, my wife lives out here with her family and they're awesome. But I kind of just totally changed pace and it was really bothering me. And my wife was like, Phil, you need to do music again. You know, I don't know what that looks like for you because you can't do a band because you don't have time for that. And so I'm like, yeah, the band days are probably over. She's like, why don't you just like record yourself singing? And I'm like, why don't I just record myself singing? You know. See, I mean, us, us wives, I mean, we have some good advice. <laughs> well, she's she's kind of been one of the big encouragements as far as the, the music portion. Now, she's not on board with the vlogging. If you watch my videos, like, she is, like, away from the camera. And if I bring the camera in front of her, she's like, get that away from me or I'll destroy you. <laughs> so we're, we're working on that. Yeah. Slowly but surely, she'll come around because when he started vlogging, um, I mean, I only had my channel just to, like, support his, and I didn't really record how I am now. Um, it was more just to, like, be a channel, like, be an email, be, a like, a subscriber, and like your video. Um, and then it was, every like, sub for sub. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but nobody was subbing for mine, yeah. but... Um, it was more just to be that support, and, like, when he wanted to do the vlogs, I'm like, uh, like, I'll take selfies all day long. Like, I'll do that. That's not a problem. But to actually, your, like... Your Instagram game is strong then, right? It is. Yeah. Guess who is going to be a new daddy? Ba, ba, ba. That guy so, right there. I'm crossing my fingers here. Her official due date... So, my daughter's name is Yael. And her official due date is January 2nd. Nice. But I am just like hoping and praying that she's going to be a December baby because I want a tax break. I was going to say. <laughs> Here's the most important thing. The insurance deductibles do not roll over because it, well, the moment it hits January, that's a brand new deductible. And she will be grounded until she pays off that deductible. <laughs> she comes I've been watching your videos. I've been like binge watching. So oh, awesome. I, I love all of them. Every one of them. Thanks, man. And I don't know what to pick, like, what I like better, you know? Like, 
I like your vlog style, but then at the same time, I'm I'm a musician myself. I've been playing guitar for 25 years, so it's oh, like right on, man. So I'm I'm with you on that, and I also used to live the rock star life, and it's hard for me to like I'm a father of three. I have a career. I have two YouTube channels. It's like I got so much shit going on. It's I I'm with you with how hard it is to sit down and jam or to find somebody to jam with or whatever. And then, like, I, I think what you're doing is amazing. It's a good outlet. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm really happy with myself to, that I push myself to do this uh, because I've been getting really rusty, like, not doing music for, like, three and a half, almost four years. Uh, I just felt like, you know, my singing endurance kind of wasn't as good. My chops on guitar weren't that great. And I'm like, hey, I'm losing it. And, it, like, you know, for me, like music is an emotional release whenever I'm feeling something. I'll just go to my guitar and play. But I found that as my life switched, it was almost like I put away uh, something that really hurt me. Like it hurt me to put away music. It was painful. It was just like, you know, it's like almost like you make an adult choice and you don't do it anymore, but it's still a part of you. Mm -hmm. And so it was almost like I broke up with it. And so I put my guitar in my case, and I'm like, you know what? That was then, this is now. But, like, every time I pick up my guitar and I try to sing, I would try to, like, channel the way I was before. And I found myself, like, falling short of what I felt I used to be and I'm expecting those results still. And so I was just – I remember telling Liz, I'm like, Liz, I'm losing it, I'm losing the, the little inflections and the things that were easy. It's not there. Right. And she's like, well, practice, you know? And I'm like, well, you know, I don't have any shows to do anymore. I don't have, you know, whatever. I pick up the guitar and I play the same 20 songs over again, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but this, this this whole thing has kind of just really forced me to get out of my shell. And let me tell you, so with what I'm doing, I am taking a camera with a shotgun mic and just pressing record and playing and singing. So it's completely live. There's no editing. There's no nothing. So it's like if I mess up a take, I have to redo the entire song, you know. And so there, it, it's it's raw and it's not like processed and refined. And so it's like I find I, I look at YouTube covers and look at things. A lot of people are singing and their their voices are processed and you know it's it's not. I mean they've got talent, you know, but it's uh, it's not raw. I mean, but. Some people are used to hearing that raw sound, and some people want to hear that polished uh, sound, you know. And so, I've never been one of those people. No, I feel that even relates with videos. Like if you're making vlogs or skits or pranks or whatever, people can see the refinement in it. People can see if you're faking it or if you're not having fun or whatever. They yeah. they see that, you know. Everybody wants a certain amount of drama. You know, that's that's what. It's that's what keeps the engagement rate up. People want to see like, like, oh man, you know, this guy, this guy made the song better than the original, and everybody's like, oh, you know, you just started beef now. Everybody's like, oh shit, you know, <laughs> like, I, I got to go watch this now because everybody's saying that Phil totally killed it and that, you know, his his old band Third Eye Blind. Did you get, know that Phil was in Third Eye Blind? Sometimes you just got to put the past away. I wish you'd step back from that ledge, my friend. See. If you just ties with all the lies that you've been living in. Yeah, exactly. See, I do that too. Like, what is it? Like, um... <laughs> oh, she she makes up misheard lyrics. Oh, I I'll do. Tell, I'll, I'll tell you what. I don't make them up. That's what I think they are. <laughs> and when they when I read the lyrics, they're wrong. <laughs> I hope that one day. So I'm gonna actually start doing original music when my channel gets bigger. Yeah. Um, that way, people are like, "All right, I know who Phil is. What what kind of songs does he come up with?" Um. But I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna live in a world one day where someone covers my song and does it better than me. It, it, it's funny, like you were saying about when your channel gets bigger. Over the past week, your channel has doubled. Has it? Uh, damn close. Oh yeah, I kind of. I'm so focused, like my nose to the grindstone. I'm just going, 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 going. It's like days kind of turn into weeks, or yeah. like hours turn into days, and so it's like I, it's like all a big jumble. Every once in a while, you know, the stars give us something beautiful, and that's called a bromance. That's right. And sometimes it's kindled, and you wish upon a star, and it's there, it's and it. it's just epically beautiful when a man and a man can just bromanciate. Yes. And that's where we're at. Okay. That's right. 
I'll and you? I'll take it. You're, you don't have a choice. It's okay. Can you feel the love tonight? <laughs> oh my god, I love that. I love Lion King. You said that your wife doesn't want to be in the vlogs. She mm -hmm. supports you. Yes, absolutely. Um, which is amazing. How does your family feel about you vlogging? So... Not clogging the toilet, yeah. but vlogging <laughs> YouTube. Well, to be honest, um, Shawnee is a little... Uh, it's a farming town that's growing, and so people out here are, are a little more laid back. It's not city feel. It's more like country feel, and so I'm very much a city boy here. I don't wear boots. I wear <laughs> jeans, you know, and I wear a hat. This backwards, I wear a flat belt, you know. Oh, by the way, it says my nickname here. When I was an artist, my name was Philip Romeo. That's my music name. Is but, your wife Juliet? Now, see, when I was Philip Romeo, I was the broken-hearted <laughs> artist who was searching for love, nice. and he's always searching. <laughs> but uh, everyone thinks I'm weird here. I'm like the only guy walking around with a camera talking to myself. Oh man, you know they they think I'm crazy out here, but they don't see the big picture. And it's one of those things where the once the channel, hopefully, if it gets bigger and it starts to really it do things for me, they're gonna be like, whoa, I didn't know that you're wasting your time and making money. Yeah, you know that's kind of how they look at it. They're yeah. like, you ain't wasting your time. When you yeah. when you go to the supermarket and you pull up in your Bentley and everybody's like, oh shit, like who's this guy? He and he's like, I, I don't know if I'd ever drive a Bentley. It's like. <laughs> I would never spend that kind of money on a depreciating item, but I would drive a Corvette. Well, you got to get a used one. That's the whole point. When you, you get a Bentley, you got to get one that's like four years old, and <laughs> it's all the depreciation's already out. You got it at half price. Yeah. There you go. I like your style. Just like uh, little Dicky, right? Everything free. He needs everything for free because he wants to save that money. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> what kind of camera do you use? Like, what is your what is your setup? Okay, so if you backtrack my catalog of videos that are like two, um, I started with a iPhone. Like mm -hmm. a, it was an iPhone six plus, mm -hmm. and then I used my iPhone eight plus, and then there was a, a video where I said there's a special announcement, but I ended up buying a Lumix G7, so a 4K nice. camera. Nice. Um, and so from that point on, I shoot with my 4K camera. So all my music covers, that's all shot on the 4K camera with a uh, Rode Video Mic Pro R uh, shotgun mic. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, I didn't do the music because I felt like I didn't have the proper setup. And so I waited till I got the camera and the, the mic to really pick up uh, stuff before I introduced music. That's why there's more blog and talk videos first than the music started. And the music started to take over a little more. So thank you for being YouTuber of the Week. Uh, it's really, really awesome that you took some time out of your day to introduce yourself to all our viewers so hopefully they get to go check you out and love you as much as we do yeah so because yeah. it was awesome meeting you on saturday even though it's through like facetime and through like instant messenger um but i love the the live saturdays like the hangouts they're so much fun you get to know people mm -hmm. and it's more you know it's just a great time well yeah you know and it's First off, just thank you for having me here. It's uh, it's been a pleasure. I, I feel honored. You know, um, I feel like I haven't known y'all for a long time, but I know you. I'm starting to know you well, mm -hmm. and so it's like I can feel that sense of community, and that's something that I've kind of grown to appreciate because uh, a lot of the small YouTubers kind of run in the same circles, and so uh, you know, it's just I feel like I'm making real friends, mm -hmm. and well, you are real friends, yeah. you know. Uh, but granted, you're a fake friend person. But um, it's, just, it's just really cool because I feel like I'm hanging out with friends and we're helping each other. And the end goal is to grow each other, help each other, and be successful. And that's amazing that you get to call something that your job is encouraging and supporting someone mm -hmm. by watching and liking their videos and then doing the same. And it's just – it's really cool. I'm totally digging it. Mm -hmm. Would you like to give a send-off? What is that? Like it's saying goodbye it's, to everybody. It's, it's an outro. Normally, like when you vlog and stuff like that, you do an outro. You're like, thank you all for having me or whatever. Or, Thanks for joining our channel. You know, blah, blah, blah. You say whatever you want. And then you're like, all right, I'll see you all whenever, you know. Yeah, I think I've been saying um, I'll see you in the comment section. You could say that. 
All right, so I just do it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. I will see you in the comment section. Awesome. So yeah.